There's more fallout this afternoon in the Grossmont Union High School District after a student was restrained by a campus supervisor last week following a fight on campus. Fox 5's Misha DeBono is live for us in El Cajon this afternoon with new information on the incident, which has gotten national attention. Misha. Yeah, Andrew, good afternoon. Justice advocates are calling for a full and thorough investigation. They're also demanding that the school district fire this supervisor, basically a security guard immediately. Shane Harris, who did most of the speaking today, he, co he compared the imagery that's been shared on social media to that of George Floyd. I cannot understand the world for me why this supervisor felt it was necessary to literally wrap his arms around this girl and literally slam her to the ground the way he did. Reverend Shane Harris is demanding answers after a female student at Valhalla High School was restrained by a school supervisor on August 31st as he tried to break up a fight. Video of the incident was widely shared on social media. During a press conference Tuesday, Harris says he will not rest until the school takes action. My office is requesting that the, the school superintendent and the school immediately fire this supervisor. Revealing that the young woman is part of the foster care system, Harris says the event has further traumatized her. He and others compared the image of the supervisor's knee on the back of her neck to that of George Floyd. And I don't care if he had his knee on her neck or near her neck for 15 seconds. It shouldn't have happened for one second. It was inappropriate and it's something that should not happen by a school official. I know that today. Why did this happen? You look around and you see a man who, as Reverend Harris said, is three times bigger than a 14-year-old student at a school. Mark Powell is a former Board of Education member, a father, and the founder of Parents for Quality Education. This is a young lady. A knee on the neck like that could snap this young lady's neck in an instant. And Harris did uh, reference other video that is uh, very telling. He said he would not share it with us, mostly because they want to protect the identity of this young woman who is within the, the foster care system. He said that he has also spoken with the uh, district, the superintendent of the district, and that they have agreed to a meeting. He wouldn't say when that would happen, but he also called on the school principal and the superintendent to meet with this victim and her guardian, which apparently the school has not done yet. We did reach out to the school district and um, they said that they will comment after their investigation is complete, which is uh, common practice, but they are will be, they say, very transparent with any information that they do learn. From El Cajon, Misha DeBono, Fox 5 News.